guys! So today we are making this amazing doggo cake. Very Dumbo-y, much elephant-like, super big ears, long nose, kind of a doggo. I love this cake. I, I'm excited about this movie. I'm like extremely excited. So let's get started. My name is Vitamin C and you take two a day. I only have vitamins because they're gummies. I love gummies. Now for this cake, I'm using my pipe system and I'm starting off by creating Dumbo's body with my doll cake pan. Now I cut my doll cake into three equal layers and I'm just adding buttercream in between each of those layers. Now Dumbo's neck is a lot thicker, so I'm gonna cut away about like half an inch at the top just so I can get it the right size. Then I added a pipe coupler and two circles of cardboard for support. I wanted to make sure that the head had a lot of support. This trunk gave me so much anxiety, you guys. You have no idea. Now I cut my pipe coupler down and then I start to create Dumbo's trunk. Now at the bottom of Dumbo's face, I'm creating with Rice Krispies treats. And to create his trunk, I'm actually using pipe connectors, what? So I connected a 90 degree pipe coupler to two 135 degree pipe couplers. And there's just like a small pipe in between each one. Felt like I was gonna have so much trouble with this, but it worked out perfectly. It was so easy. I just plunged the pipe connectors into the middle pipe and voila, Dumbo's nose. I'm adding some buttercream and the top layer of chocolate cake to create Dumbo's face and then I just started to carve. Carved away the sides and started to round out his body so that I could create Dumbo's very voluptuous doggo, African doggo body. So one of the reasons I love Dumbo is because growing up I used to get made fun of because I had huge ears, huge, and they're not pinned back, right? So there was like Will Smith all over. And then here's Dumbo, this cute elephant, and his ears aren't holding him back no matter how many times people call him names. I mean, they don't seem so big now, but they still, I mean, like when I put on a hat, and then they go down. <laughs> I read your comments, you guys. You guys always comment on my ears and my hat, but that's okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I started to chrome coat this way too early. I took a second look at my Dumbo reference picture and I realized that his head is a lot more square. So I took some cake ball dough and I added some to the top of the cake to make his head a little bit more square. And I also added some to his cheeks so that they would be more plump. And then I use fondant to create his nose, just wrapping it around the pipe, making it thicker by his face and then a lot thinner at the end of his trunk. Now I'm gonna take more of my cake scraps and just glue them onto the right and the left so that I can create his back legs. And then it was time for my crumb coat. Gave the entire cake a crumb coat and then placed it into the fridge to chill. And while I was in the fridge chilling, I was Netflix and chilling and I was watching Tarzan, another Disney movie. I love it. I love that whole like shooby doo 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 I love that sequence. That's my favorite sequence of the movie by far. I also love the interaction that Tarzan has with his like mom. Oh gosh, it's so there. Oh god, Disney movies always give me the feels. Now, if you haven't seen Tarzan, I don't know why we're friends. And if you have seen Tarzan, what did you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get back to this cake. I was very scared about how I was gonna cover this cake with fondant, so I took some precautionary measures. I decided that the seams of the cake would be on the side of Dumbo's face so I could hide them underneath his big ears. And so I wrapped the bottom of Dumbo's face with two pieces of gray fondant. I cut the seam at the sides, again, just so that I could hide the seam underneath his ears. I wrapped the front of Dumbo's body with gray fondant, cutting it at the sides and pushing the fondant underneath the cake. And I cut away the excess and wrapped the back of Dumbo's body. Then it was time to cover Dumbo's face. Gosh, I just... 
I, I really did say a prayer because I didn't. I just, uh, I just uh, what if I mess up? What, is this on camera? So I covered all of Dumbo's face, including his trunk. And it actually was so much more easy than I thought it was gonna be. Because there is that huge elephant trunk, I was able to hide the seam underneath it. I just used magic sauce to glue the bottom of the fondant underneath. And then all of the excess fondant I placed on the side of Dumbo's face so again I could hide it underneath those large ears. Cut away the excess and gave him some wrinkle details with my fondant tools. If you want to see more of my awesome animal cakes, there are links for you in the description box as well as at the end. I have a lot of them and I think they all look so cute. This hedgehog cake is by far one of the most colorful and vibrant cakes I think I have on the channel. So make sure you check that out. Now for all of Dumbo's limbs, I'm using four large pieces of fondant. I stuck two at the front to get his front legs and two smaller ones on the side to get his back legs. Then, two pieces of fondant to create Dumbo's eyes. Now in the animated version, he has like pink details to highlight his features. So I added two pieces of pink fondant to create the bottom of his feet. And I also rolled pink fondant underneath the gray fondant to create his large ears. So once I was finished adding all of his feet details, I added his large ears. Just two giant pieces of gray and ugly pink fondant. Glued to his head with a little bit of magic sauce. I'm using my fondant tools to sort of lessen the seam between his ears and his face, but it doesn't even matter, it looks so cute. And then I added two blue circles of fondant to create his eyes. And I wanted to give them a little bit more depth. So I painted some light blue food coloring into his eyes and then gave him two black pupils. And we can't forget those extremely adorable eyelashes, two for each eye. Now I'm loving all of the costumes that they're giving Dumbo in the live action movie and I decided to add them to this cake as well. So I'm adding some blue and the yellow strips to give him his like headgear and that awesome Dumbo D badge at the front. Look how cute that is. With the fringe at the bottom and voila, my Dumbo cake was complete. I'm so proud of this cake. You, I, I don't even, I made an elephant, you guys. And not only did I make an elephant, I made the most adorable baby elephant cake you've ever seen. I was scared that his nose was just gonna be flat on the cake going straight down. So when I was able to create this 3D nose that had this illusion of movement, I was ecstatic. I love the way this turned out but I don't think I'm done just yet. One of my favorite things about Dumbo is the clown makeup. And the live action movie makes him look like the saddest clown. So I decided to take off all of the costume things I created and then add on a black fireman's hat because that's what they dress him up in in the live action movie. I'm giving him this like collar with blue polka dots. And then I started to paint his face with some magic sauce and a little bit of white food coloring. His nose is gonna be red, as well as those red circles on his cheeks. And then I gave him two teardrops. He's not a gangster, you guys. That he, he didn't kill anybody. He's just a very sad clown. Gave him some on fleek eyebrows, and voila, my clown Dumbo is complete. Now I'm finished. Oh man, I love this cake. It's, I, uh, I'm so proud. I'm very proud. I'm very proud of this trunk. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you hit that notification button so you can see all of the cakes I have coming your way. There is a ton of stuff. I'm excited to make the lamp from Aladdin. The genie's lamp. That's going to give me so much anxiety too, but it'll be worth it. I hope you are as excited as I am. I love you guys. I will see you very soon. Peace!